this is DJ here with Majestic Entertainment News, and we are at the Irvine Film Fest, and I am here with the filmmakers of the movie The Isle. Uh, hello, I'm Tori Butlerhart. And I'm Matthew Butlerhart. <laughs> now, I heard you guys flew all the way from London for this premiere of your film. That's true. This is the first time that it's been screened in front of an audience. It is not the cast and the investors. Uh, yeah, it was just such a lovely audience. You know, you have no idea which way it's going to go, especially, you know, such a sort of a feels like it's such a British film. It's a you know, yeah. Victorian, Scottish thriller on an island. You know, is that going to translate thousands of miles away to sunny California? But yeah, people did, laughed so at the right bits. I know. And, it's not a comedy, and, but they yeah, laughed at you know, a little, little bit. It's good. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Now, can you tell the audience a little bit more about what the film is about? Yes, so it is set in 1846 and it is uh, on a remote Scottish island um, and three sailors get shipwrecked and they end up on this almost deserted island bar four people and they're all a little weird <laughs> and uh, they um, try and work out what on earth has happened to everyone else why have they all left this island bar the fact that there's no food or anything like that and then slowly things start to happen and it gets <laughs> yeah. a little creepier and I don't really want to say much more because otherwise you give it away yeah. um, but it's loosely based on uh, the Greek myth of sirens and the myth of Persephone. You know, women, beautiful women on rocks calling sailors to their death, which is not what happens in the film, but it's, you know, very loosely yeah. based on that, yeah. Okay. Before I let you go, I should ask you about the, the actors in your project, because besides you, there is a Game of Thrones actor that I think everybody will be happy to hear about. So yeah. tell us how he got involved in the project and who he is. Jonathan Hill, who plays Lord Varys in Game of Thrones, the eunuch. Uh, lovely, lovely guy. Um, I met him on a theatre job years ago whilst we were writing our last film, Two Down. And so he was had a, a few sort of little scenes in that. and loved the way we, we worked because we're pretty quick and precise of what we want. He was like, this is great. It's very different from television where you spend days and days doing the same scene and you know we didn't have the time or the budget for that um so and when he knew we were doing the next one he's like so is there a part for me and we're like just give a second yes there is there we go and yeah and then we love working with him he's become a really good friend um yeah so it's simple as that really yeah, I mean, we had to, it was tough because yeah. we, we basically had a window um, once we got the finance. We had a win. the guys who um, financed it said, we would love Conleth Hill to be in it, yes please, and we would also love Alex Hassel to be in it. And um, it so happened when we got greenlit with the finance that uh, Conleth was about to go and shoot Game of Thrones, of course, because they're like locked in for about eight months of the year. Um, and uh, Alex was going to shoot Suburbicon with uh, George Clooney. So we had a window of three weeks pre-production and then the four-week shoot, and that was it. And then we lost uh, Connor to Game of Thrones well, and, we always had and the Alex. As well, which almost happened halfway oh, yeah. through shooting, because obviously Game of Thrones, their schedule changes quite a lot because of snow or dragons or whatever. So, and we actually got a phone call, is Connor available? And oh, he's in the middle of our shoot and he obviously has lovely, nice bushy hair in real life and they have to shave it off for Game of Thrones. Please don't so we, shave his head quite yet. Yeah. So yeah, we had to kind of just beg and get, they were, they were amazing to be fair. They were, yeah, okay, yeah, fine, I know he's doing your film for the next two weeks. So yeah, we were very lucky with that. <laughs> now, do you have any other projects that you're working on on the horizon? We do, yes. Um, very excited about our next one, which is called Mr. Parker. And uh, it is a it's slightly different for us. It's a straight drama, um, but it's set present day. Um, and then it's about an historical sexual abuse case that happens at a, a school, a secondary school, um, in the 1990s. And the girl in who has the affair with the teacher goes to the police 20 years later. And it's all about memory and how unreliable memory is Real memory really is. especially in these kind of cases together he's a he's a, a, a documentary filmmaker so he's sort of using his journalistic skills to try and sort of piece what happened and yeah find, find the truth really so it sort of flits between the memories of everyone. Um, he finds old VHS footage that he shot as a teenager. So we've got the sort of real 19s VHS footage and then present day. So it's kind of in three parts. It will be very different from ghosts on a Scottish island. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lovely departure. <laughs> well, thanks for talking with us today and enjoy the rest thank of your film fest. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.